is where believers are thoroughly trained and thoroughly mentored but they are not connected to purpose let me tell you there is a danger for any assembly when you keep pumping anointing in people revelation revelation and the people don't know what to do with it the body of christ is in trouble for this one is why many many men of god keep having a headache when you get young people a young man a young lady you are teaching them about finances teaching them about prayer and fasting do you not know that knowledge has an implication the goal of all that investment is that there must be an opportunity for them to deploy by the time a man is fasting 100 days yet there is nothing for him to do in church are we together praying the kind of power that guy has one day he's going to say listen I, I don't know what to do with all this fire locked up in my bones that's why you can give him opening prayer of two minutes and he will turn it into prophecy for one hour it's not that he's bad the fire is too much and you have not told him what to do with it and there is no opportunity to deploy it every time you begin to teach people right and to mentor them there must be in your training the systems of deploying it this is true for ministry but this is also true for government if you keep training young people you are having graduates coming graduates coming and there's no platform to be able to help them let me tell you something somebody is going to come into their life and say listen don't mind this person you can start your own church if god is calling you that's fine but if god is not calling you that that becomes the advice or you can start your own business or you can do whatever it is let me tell you it's a risk to enlighten people and leave them without purpose are we together so i'm praying every day with you i'm fasting every day with you you've now graduated from the school of ministry impartation every service you are falling down and standing up revelation after revelation a day will come knowledge is what will frustrate you not ignorance you will find yourself overdoing things and you'll be angry because the goal is to have expression something within you keeps crying for expression are we together that's the reason why a man who keeps teaching his child say how to drive help them please you are teaching someone how to drive his car you're teaching him how to do something and you leave him there the gentleman can drive and yet there's no car to drive one day what do you think is going to happen talk to me you did it so you know one day when he's not around you say listen uh, this this fire is 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 this this thing i need to drive God never designed people to remain members forever. Listen, listen, just listen, just listen. When I say not to be members, listen, people don't have to be around you to be with you. Are we together now? That means if God is training you and one day, God gives you a job with African Union or UN. You have become an extension of what we represent. Are, are we together? The joy is to see that now the value for you. Ah, I prophesied. Oh, this thing I just said. This is a prophetic word. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please sit down. This is the aspect that is missing in church and i say this respectfully speaking there is quality training quality mentorship training but there are no platforms so you find out leaders who should be changing society are dying with church fanatism nothing for them you see people who should change there are people who qualify to be governors leaders but they are not aspiring because they have not been taught that purpose is also spiritual moses whereas you should be helping israel joseph you should be bringing so 
solutions to the economic problems of Israel whereas you are there quietly with a small life this is what this is why we are not able to translate our Christian experience to a context that transforms society it is the reason why when you say you are a Christian especially in Africa most times they just look at you as if you are just a fanatic with no value to society is someone learning let me tell you this i have said it and i will say it again preaching on the platform is not the only thing to do with the anointing preaching on the platform is not the only thing to do with revelation if we don't mentor the younger generation properly there will be trouble because when these guys are accessing light it's important for them to know that the seven mountains are also platforms of ministry so that the person who now is routing the part of politics and the one who is staying to become a national prophet they are doing the same thing in the realm of the spirit you cannot say the one who is at the altar is higher than the one who is in government no no without esther the jews would die are we together it took joseph manning the helm of affairs to preserve the purposes of god Africa needs to understand the apostolic structure for kingdom advance. I can tell you we have not yet captured that blueprint holistically. That's why I took the time, respectfully speaking, to honor his majesty. Because of these kinds of apostolic understanding. You imagine now, respectfully speaking, the kind of approach of leadership and governance to his territory. Africa I'm a man of prayer I'm a man of fasting and I'm a man of the word but I'm a man of the whole counsel of God there are many young people right now who are not supposed to be on the pulpit they are being on the pulpit is causing trouble to them and to others they, they are not finding definition but the mentorship structure they have received has said once you are spiritual find a way of coming to stand here and they stand here yet they know joseph the, the, the throne is calling you daniel the place of governance is calling you esther you are fasting but realize that you are being called to the palace there will always be people like anna the prophetess their ministry stops at the temple they never go out of the temple if you take them out of the temple to be involved in secular things you have destroyed them they were called to stay they will stay and wait and Jesus will still come to the temple and meet them this has been my concern by the privilege of God's grace I have studied many revivals I have studied a bit of the history of the church in Nigeria I can tell you not to this is not the platform to start discussing it but some of the major moves of god in nigeria let me tell you this what killed them was a the emphasis of certain things there were those who came emphasizing the prophetic consecration prayer and then they didn't place emphasis on doctrine there are those who came i don't want to mention names respectfully speaking and the emphasis was just on doctrine and teaching and they de-emphasized the prophetic and prayer and both moves suffered by the time nigeria has only preachers i promise you that we are in trouble we did a bad job if a man of god produces only preachers then we're in trouble because one policy from our parliament can stop the purposes of God. Are we together? I believe in influence. I believe in the whole counsel of God. Men of fire, but people who are sheep among wolves, having the intelligence of the kingdom and even the wisdom of Egypt. Listen, I have studied territorial transformation by the grace of God. And I can tell you the truth. 
when Jesus walked upon the earth we need to study the ministry of Jesus I can list for you all the people groups that Jesus influenced Jesus did not do crusades alone read your Bible there were times he was with tax he he the same passion he took to preach in one crusade was the same passion he took to go to the house of an influential tax collector what was the result many people were set free because the man was a corrupt man look at jesus one moment he's talking to thousands of people the next moment he's alone with the woman at the well with the same passion the next moment he's investing time casting out one demon because that one man set free was equal to 10 cities hallelujah please look at me i can tell you this and i say it with every sense of humility it is the turn of africa to blaze the fire of revival we have prophesied this and many who have gone before us have said this for many years that there are certain nations that have been uniquely singled out by the election of grace one of them chiefest among them is nigeria now with all due respect and honor to every nation i am telling you this prophetically and that by the spirit however rather than just rejoicing and jumping and saying we are the ones pioneering revival we need to go and study the revivals that have happened and why they died are we together now yes where i come from there is a wise saying that when you see your neighbor's bed on fire don't just watch and laugh look for water quickly because that same fire is coming to you too look for water and start soaking your own beard too Europe has had its chance of revival. The US has had its chance, the word of faith and all these ones. But let me tell you, as we prepare for the return of Christ, whether we like it or not, this mantle for global missions, this mantle has right now is in Africa. It's not a lie. It's not, help those under the anointing. It's not a lie respectfully speaking once upon a time now i say this with every sense of respect many nigerians fly out with joy and say they are going for a lecture or conference somewhere but right now the whole nation and the entire globe they continue to come to this candlestick that has now been lit but my listen my 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 charge tonight is a prophetic warning because while we rejoice thinking we are getting it there are things we are missing too we are already beginning to follow the same pattern that aborted the revivals past do you know why rather than staying with the holy spirit to understand the structure and the formation of the move of god in a way that it lasts